More answers now in a string of recent break-ins. Yeah, and arrests revealing even more businesses that have been hit near downtown Knoxville. You know, we told you yesterday about the man arrested, Mark Cooper. At the time, he was only charged with four break-ins, but we had heard about several more. That is surveillance video from Graphic Creations. Today, Knoxville Police saying that Cooper has admitted to breaking into that business and others that we had reported on, like Yasin's Falafel House and Last Days of Autumn Brewing and a bunch more. Our top story here at 5 WAT6 on your side reporter, Laura Holm, joining us now live mm -hmm. in the studio. So, Laura, kind of walk us through uh, what investigators have now revealed about his confessions. Mm -hmm. Well, Cooper's now charged with 15 counts of burglary. In fact, here's a map. Each of these yellow pins represents one of more than a dozen businesses Cooper says he's broken into, some of them more than once. Security footage from Mark Nelson Denham showing the moments their cash drawer was stolen back in September. It's really, it's crazy. He's just uh, on, on a rampage. He was a, a menace, a nuisance to downtown. I'm so proud of, and, and thankful for the Knoxville Police Department for getting this guy off the streets. Before that happened, owners say they interacted with the man believed to have burglarized a number of other downtown businesses. He asked, to, could he clean up and help out with for, you know, uh, some money for food. Owners say they paid him $15 an hour for about five hours of work. Once I let him in, he basically just sized up the uh, my business. And when they saw this security footage. Actually, we, we discussed this guy. Uh, again, he stole, he had stolen $200 out of my wallet in, in the first place. And so I was like, did I misplace it? And we talked about it and uh, we, we were waiting on it. We were actually, we, it didn't shock me at all. It, you know, we, it really didn't, uh, it didn't surprise me. The window has since been replaced, but for this small business. That's the biggest thing uh, that uh, I was concerned with is, you know, what do my customers think? Uh, you got people coming here for the first time and they're going, am I safe? Uh, can I park my car here? Owners at Mark Nelson Denham say this was a tough lesson learned and replacing the glass amounted to more money than the cash that was stolen. I'm more hurt about that than any. Had it been some random act, and that's one thing, but you open your doors and your heart to someone, and, you know, I actually went and got him lunch and made sure he ate and, you know, kind of treat him like I thought I was treating uh, someone like a human being, but uh, uh, a decent person. And because if I was in that situation, I would want someone to do the same for me. Now, when it comes to Mark Nelson, Denim owner Marcus Hall, who we just heard from, tells me that he spoke with other businesses in the warehouse district soon after his break-in, warning them about what was happening and to be careful about who they let inside their shop. Guys. All right, Laura, thank you so much. Now, on top of these burglary charges, investigators say Cooper is also charged with stealing a company car from turnkey installations. That is right off of East Jackson Avenue. Yeah, that happening sometime between October 5th and 7th. Knoxville police adding the car was possibly used in several of the burglaries. Of course, we're going to keep watching this case as it moves through the court system.